and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Grandia. I'm your host, Mr. Gatto. Alright, so we finished the entire vestibule area. Let's go ahead and head in a little deeper as we're under attack by this little group here, which introduced us a new enemy. I'm pretty sure we've seen this enemy before. No, these are Dom Orcs, never mind. Dome orcs, whatever they want to be called. They're a little stronger than regular orcs, as you can see, but nothing compared to the orc king. But again, they're not a big threat, really. He's going to use an attack called Bite. We're going to actually cancel him out. As you can see, we're now starting to apply real-time strategy. More real strategy to these battles as the enemies get a little more dangerous. Though I think I missed. Oh no, I caused him to lose his turn. Okay. That's the whole point. Alright, let's go ahead and do a beat down. Here, let's see how that goes. Uh, he's on defense, so we'll go after the one that actually wants to attack. And she could probably kill that one even if he's defending. Yep, there we go. Sweet! Okay, cool. Cool beans. As everybody gets a little bit there, but what we're. See, I. My apologies, I, this is a new sit-down, so and I didn't look at what we gotta work on, so let's see. Fire, wind, fire and water and Justin, I'm pretty sure, so we'll keep working on that a little bit. Let's see. There's really something specific here that I want to do before we do much of that, so hold on. Okay, so we did that. We can go over there. I think I really want to go this way. Let's fight these guys. There it is. I see it in the corner now. Okay, now what was I? Where was I? Oh, yes. So let's go ahead and do this. And I was mentioned in the last episode, there's something really kind of quasi-cheap that you can do in order to level up um, your water skill. This is it here. As you allow yourself to get beat by this face. Let's see. Boom. Kaplow. Kablam. And why, why go through all this pain? In a sense, well, it's really easy. We get to use our healing magic. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a save point right below us! Ooh. Now, you can do this frequently throughout the game, actually. Very frequently. Because there's lots of places in the game where you can do this. And water is just one of those skills that, as cheap as this skill is, to learn something, I actually agree with it. In my opinion, water sucks leveling early on. Because... It's really hard to level. It just I've never found it insanely easy to level because of all the variables that go into trying to level it up. One of those being is you actually have to get hurt enough to use it. Now, if you get your skill level high enough, see, we learned Cure, so which is a Fire Ice skill there, which is good. Now, the reason why I say it's such a pain in the butt to learn is because, in most cases, when you're trying to learn it, you don't get damaged enough. Now, when my goal is to teach the snooze skill. Once snooze is learned, water becomes really easy to learn. Same with it's the same problem that fire kind of has with it, and the same problem that earth has. Until you learn a skill that, well, earth isn't even that ba bad really. It's mostly just water that has that problem. So once it's all pretty much said and done and it's decently learned, you can actually learn a lot of good magic from this doing this and then ironically it makes it possible to get water you know several levels above where it needs to be um, and that will come in, in a huge that will be very very necessary very later in the game but right now we just need to get it up enough we want to get Fina and Justin's water magic at least up to I think level three is really the goal here you see we're already halfway there so, you know, and I'm not going to, obviously when this comes up, I'm not going to show it, because I'll just tell you that I'm going to do it. Because in all honesty, you don't really need to see me doing this. Ow. Ow. You don't need to really watch me do this. I know it's some some people go, well, that's cheap. You know what? Some of Fina's late level magic becomes really expensive. And if you sit back looking at that going, oh, it's totally worth doing. You can also see, too, we're learning it at a slower, slower rate as well. Where, what level does it need to be at? Oh, wait, he already does know it. What am I doing then? Well, I may as well just get it to level 4 at this point. Shoot. Shoot. 
So we'll just do that since it's our well. No, we'll leave it alone. We'll work on Fina's. So I'm gonna work on Fina's water magic to level three. And we'll see you as soon as I'm done. It took all of freaking three minutes to do it too, by the way. So now that that's all done, I want to show you where we're at really quick. I know it's gonna lag when I do it. We um, obviously, as look at one of those is so high, we don't even know how much wind and water it's gonna take. I'll tell you right now, it's not gonna ruin anything. But 99.99. Anyway, yeah, exactly, you heard me right. I ruined it, but it needed to be said because it's important to know. But now that we're adding magic, look at We're learning new skills available to us down there. We got one that requires fire and wind. More importantly, look at Justin. We have one that requires earth and fire and fire in itself. And he also learns a sword skill, you know, at sword level 12. So we're starting to see, per se, more available skills but we've got to start leveling up our weapons. Um, right now, our, wet, our whip level is decent. Um, our knife level is crap, but like I said, we don't really use the knife at all for anything. So we're really just focusing on leveling up that whip. And, and actually, right now, Sue has learned Whacker and Fire Away, so no matter what weapon she has, she has AoE damage available to her. So we're pretty good right now. I want to get Axe up to level 12. I'm hoping to be able to do that. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, you know, in this dungeon. Maybe up to level 10. But then we're going to switch maybe to the mace. And figure it out from there. Incoming! Okay, so let's move. Let's see. There's come some enemies up here. Alright, one map, so let's keep moving. And let's be avoiding the angry looking faces. We don't get hit by any traps here. We're just walking around. All of them in general will help. <laughs> okay. So now we are yodeling outside here. We will see. Oh my god, what the... <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and climb up the rope as all-inducing all of a view as it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so let's head in now. Now that we're in, we're going to keep moving here. We're going to come to a, a room. This is an elevator room, but we're not going to use the elevator quite yet. We're going to keep going this way. This should lead us to this battle here. Now, these enemies are interesting. They can really only be hurt with magic. Excluding the use of one very specific weapon, they can only be killed with magic. Our best option is usually to throw out a Howl spell. We'll try to hit as many as we can, and then if that doesn't work, obviously we're going to use fire. So this is one of this is where magic starts becoming mandatory. You have to you actually start using it, a wind, blow them away. or you won't be able to kill some of the enemies in here. So it's also good not to be wasteful either. And there we go, we learned Runner! Runner's a spell that helps, I think, characters move about battlefields and whatnot. And a piece of jade. I think we're carrying an herb, which I want to get rid of, so we'll figure that out later. But again, vengeful ghosts, per se, or spirits, or whatever they want to be called, they're not necessarily dangerous, you just have to be careful about where they are. And be able to sneak up on them. Hit them with a good magic spell. So that way you can do some good damage and level up some of your magic. So like this time around, we'll level up fire. We'll try a fire spell from Fina. See if she can hit them all. She can hit them all. We'll have Justin mimic that exact attack. No, she hit, she hit three. And she killed three too. Okay, well, shoot. Alright, well, we're going to have to waste it anyway. So go ahead and do that. Even though this will do a little or nothing to it. You don't get into a lot of battles like this in the game. What a it's fish. their game's way of enforcing that you have to use magic. You know, and if you don't, you'll never get it stronger and you'll never learn certain skills and whatnot. So it's important to work on it. Okay, now that we've killed all those schmucks, let's go ahead and use that power seed we picked up. Who's got it? Plus two to sleep and confusion resistance. That's always good. Let's use that on Justin. For now. Alright, let's skedaddle, shall we? Let's go to the elevator. 
let's head down, shall we? From there, we want to go this direction over here first. Go ahead and head this way. It should take us to the cliff. And we should find a treasure. There it is, the blue medicine from earlier. Yay! Another blue pill, blue medicine, whatever you want to call it. Now we got to go back the way we came, and then head the other direction out of the elevator. Pretty much what I had in mind. We should run into an enemy coming up, I think. There we go. Two enemies, so we'll see you after I kill both of these guys. Alright, kicked all their butts. Before we go down that way, let's head this way first. Pick a fight here. I love fighting slime. <sighs> okay, let's go back and get this item here. Okay, killed them. Let's go ahead and pick up this. Very useful resurrection potion. Let's head this direction here. Use that as a way to figure out where we are. So, Alright, let's fight this battle here. Okay, so now that we've done that, really quick, this little switch here is useless. It just opens a pit to drop enemies in. And again, we want to fight enemies, so I don't see a reason in using it for anything. Just to give you a heads up. He's another simple battle. Now we're gonna get this. This is what we were looking for here. This is gonna open up. Allow us to find this, which is a holy mace. It's a one of the only weapons that can actually hurt those ghosts that is not magic based. Before we head back, I wanted to just check something really quick. I know that's going to take me further into the dungeon, and I think I didn't go this way first. Ah, there's money in here. Good thing we came this way. Okay, so I went ahead and put the Holy Mace on um, Sue for the moment. Um, because it raises her action up, as well as her attack, just a little bit. Um, because I still want to keep working with um, Justin on his axe skill, at least to maybe level 10, or if not taking it all the way to level 12. Um, that's where we got the whole maze, and this should lead us outside. And we're off. So, let's keep moving here. Yeah, that holy maze does definitely help. Even things out a little bit. With those ghost fights. Alright, so that's over with. Let's keep moving. And this should lead us outside. And, oh my god, we're gonna die! Just kidding. It's a lot faster than taking a rope, in my opinion, but, you know, some people just know that's going to happen and they don't care. Alright, so we can't really go back anymore, but luckily we've come to a save point, so let's go ahead and exploit any magic we have in the local battles here. Alright, and we're off. So, we've ki I killed the two sets of enemies in the area, and I can move. Now, another elevator usually implies that we skip it continue to look further. That north passage there, where the save point was, it's kind of like an emergency exit. It'll actually take you to the front of this joint. Something you don't really want to do quite yet. <clears throat> okay, so we've done that, but obviously we still can't reach. So don't worry about it yet. We'll be able to momentarily. Um, so now we got to go back to the elevator and use it. Let's go ahead and head up. So, first and foremost, let's see, what way do we have to go? Just the one? Okay, just the one goes go the one way. Find us some moon, eh? And we'll probably head outside again, I'm sure. It's the same direction as outside, so I would assume we're heading outside. And this should give us the desired effect we're looking for. Yay! Now we can connect. It looks like one has never been explored recent history. The other looks like it's been explored frequently. It looks like we've done something new. We're heading to somewhere new we're looking. Now that we've done that, we get the luxury of wasting our time by going back down another floor. And we want to head this way, which will take us to the desired direction we want to go. Die! 
Okay, so now we're in. And let's start go moving here, and we are thrown into a battle. And we're walking. As now we've gotten to a path here, let's go ahead and go this way real quick. Just to make a point. See, this leads to a dead end. Dead end. <laughs> so that was pointless, but at least you now know that it is pointless and not assuming. Go ahead and fight this battle, and then we'll look at that map. Okay, battle one. Let's examine where we gotta go. Obviously, it's very laid out what we, which way we can go. It should lead us back outside again, as you can see. Now, what we want to do out here is there should be a rope. There it is. Take that down. Whee! I'm going back here. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to reach a room here. We're going to get that chest, which is a good chest. Alright, this should be a mana egg if I'm not mistaken. Yay, mana egg! Always a good find. No reason not to have a mana egg, and hopefully, there's no reason not to have room for it. Let's get the fight here. Okay, so let's continue, shall we? And we should come to a room here. There we go. And then what we'll want to do is we'll want to head this way, which will lead us to another room after we kill these ghosts. Alright, that's done. Now we see a bunch of cages with apparently very angry things in them. What we'll want to do is... Somewhere here. Should be... Oh, there we go. I'm sitting there going, why? I thought there was a button or something. You had to do something to make those bars move. Okay, so we've done that. Now, one of these should have um, something in it for us. There we go. This is shell armor. It's a good piece of gear. It's an up armor upgrade. So really, you should give it to whoever has the lowest HP and lowest defense. Really, Justin could use it the most, but he has the most HP, so I'm going to give it actually to you. There we go. So that should be sufficient. Now we get to go back to this little room here. And once we get here, we're going to want to go... This should be the right way. This leads us to an elevator. But as usual, we're going to keep going. And as you can see weird thing here, but we can do this. Now that last switch again is one of those floor drops and whatnot, but we're not worried about that because I want my weapon experience. Oops, we still got another battle. I forgot about this one. <laughs> it was like six or seven battles in a row, I swear. Well, probably not. Maybe five, but definitely a lot. And you may think all of that for just this? It's gonna be crazy. Not quite. For some reason the bats are too high. Well, there's another eye here. I think they're gonna drop now that I've opened this. Yep, there they here they come. Okay, all enemies have been dead, and I put the mace on Justin. I one of the orcs dropped a holy mace, which can be uh, acquired. So what we're going to want to do here is probably drop, I want to say a wound solve, because we're carrying a lot of wound solves here. So let's just drop one of those. Now that we're out of room, let's go ahead and take that magic lamp. Not magic, not magi clamp, magic lamp. Magic lamp is pretty useful, um, <clears throat> which is why it's worth picking up. <clears throat> you can use this over and over again until it actually breaks. So there is some benefit in having it, and sometimes it doesn't break. Sometimes after the first use, it will break, so it, it is very, it's variable, but, you know, it's a risk that you've got to be willing to take in order to see if it'll work. So what I want to do now is, because I'm carrying way too much stuff, I want to get rid of some of the chola we have. We've got a lot of chola, which cures three level one MPs to any character. You don't need to use a lot of it, but, whoops, I just used something important, didn't I? Oh well. I guess we're not paying attention. We've, we've got lots of chola, so let's get let's dump it um, any way we can here. There we go. Even though there's a save point not too far from here, I'm still very reluctant to 
keep a lot of Chola in my inventory. Okay, now that we've done that, let's continue, shall we? So we head over here. Now we've got a closed eye, and this opens up. It gives us a, a yellow pill, or a yellow medicine, and a blue pill, blue medicine. Each of them very, 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 very useful items. Don't, whatever you do, never touch that switch. You'll regret it with every ounce of your being. Because you will miss out on those two items we just picked up. You want to make sure that you never, ever, for any reason, do, you know, grab that stuff. Uh, hit that, I'm sorry, hit that button. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab us some gold, and we'll enter the door here. bats and some gold. Alright, we killed that fool. Let's go ahead and pick up some more gold and another battle. Okay, that battle is won. Now this will actually make you, force you to backtrack. So, what it does is it drops you down. If you were dumb enough to press that button to make you slide down the stairs, then you can't, you can't get back up them. So you actually have to use that in order to continue. You gotta have to drop down and walk all the way through that new part of the dungeon again in order to get back to the elevator, but since we didn't do that, we can just go back the way we came, pretty much. Right back around, and here's the elevator right here. So a lot of backtracking is avoided by not being a jackass and pressing everything you see in sight. Alright, so let's go ahead, and now you see we have a stashing place, which we're going to use before we use the save point, let's just, because we, we're carrying a lot of stuff. Flat out, just carrying too much stuff. Need the spirit stone, unfortunately. Um, actually, well, we have two spaces left, so I think we'll be okay, actually. Let's just wait on that. I lied. We'll wait on it. Any health issues? Yes. Who's close? Who needs the water experience? Who's closer to leveling it? Justin, so we'll go ahead and let Justin use the little bits that he has. We'll recover, and we'll save. Alright, so that's all said and done, unless we get into another real boss battle against, what is it? The Ganymede. Um, first of all, he's not too threatening, but we want to make sure we, I want to focus on his body mostly. And you might be wondering, well, why do you even care about focusing on the enemy's body? Because by focusing on the body, well, first of all, I want to use this. By focusing on his body, it'll allow us to get a specific result, and the result that I'm looking for... Let's hold on really quick, sorry. The result of what I'm trying to do is trying to get the most out of this boss battle I can get. Oh, flame burning! Magic-wise and offensive physical stuff, so it's a bit of a process that I want to ensure that we get the most out of it we can get. So, for example, I'm going to throw Digging Up at least four, four times. So our defense level is maxed out before we start throwing real heavy stuff at this boss. This will also allow us to, in a sense, be pretty darn strong. Uh, we're just going to have Sue stand there and do literally nothing for a good chunk of this battle. The other thing that I want to do is let's move... Oops, I hit the wrong button. I want to evade by moving just in there. Let me do this again without the screw up. Boink. Yeah, screw it. Alright, Diggin's gonna go up again. There's no reason not to do this because we need Earth level. And because digging is such a cheap spell to use, and we get pretty good experience every time we use it, there's no reason not to use it. So we've done that. Let's throw up one more burn flame. This'll teach you. I'm sure it will. We cook that little jackal. Again, not doing huge amounts of damage. So you can hang out there. Justin will use Digging again, and then one more time after that. 
We're now gonna have Fina use Crackle. Crackle is a hybrid spell that uses two elements. The benefit of using hybrid spells in a boss battle such as this is that those elements will now level up really quickly. So in a sense, by doing this, you know, we'll get more out of it. And, and Crackle's actually, the, the ice spells are pretty strong in this game, as you can see. Even though they're sing, single targeted, they are pretty tough. Use that again. Let's move Sue out of the way of it. Really, have her use Crackle again, and it's cheap. She can sit here and spam Crackle the entire time. Um, Justin, he's digging again, I think, and that'll be the last digging that he does. And as you see, I'm allowing this boss to do a little bit of damage to me. So after the battle, I can heal myself with whatever MP I have left over. So, healing, or, um, buffing, really. And thus, we are buffed. Now, let's see, what do we want to keep Crackle on? If I do that, I won't have enough... Actually, I should. See if we can cancel out the rush attack. Probably not, but... Oh well. As you can see, Sue is dodging it for the most part. Now I can actually sit... At least I can sit and say I used her once in this battle. There we go. Oh, power of ice. She has no magic, so it's not like we're trying to level up anything of hers, and her melee and ranged weapons are leveled up really high already, so it's like, eh, not a big deal that we're not doing anything with her. Okay, so we've done that. We, our options now is we can use more earth, we can use water, or we can use fire. I'm not, I'm nice, not necessarily going to use much outside, but let's go ahead and use burn flame, burn flame once. And now we're going to start having Justin use his physical attacks to cause more damage upon what we're doing already. Then the rest of his MP will be spent used for healing. Uh, we continue to use the same tactic over and over again for Athena here. Oh, power of ice! Because right now with the four buff, with the big buff that we have, this boss isn't going to do much damage to us. And to continue to raise it higher and higher past four points is just kind of asinine. We'll just need to make sure that we use it more, more often than you know than. We'll have to make sure we use it more often than as much as we've been using it. Let's go ahead and use W Break. Because this will give him weapon levels here. Fight the car! The Blammo! And now he's doing as much as Venus Crackle is pretty much doing. So we continue to use that. Practically almost dead. sit back and just oh, relax. And this battle, as you can see, is not too hard with the buffing that we've been doing before letting this boss really dig into us offensively. Okay, and we will use W break, which should be we can him even more. Maybe even cancel out his head attack. No, nah, not really. Okay, crackle, and this ought to kill him here. And thus the battle is won. Oh, power of ice. And Kerblamo! He's toast. Bye-bye. And for we get a piece of shell armor out of it, which is always good. Let's take a look. So look at how much that ice did just using ice over and over again. That's half a level right there. You know, on Earth, look at Justin's Earth. Already almost ready to level up that just by using it four times. Five times would have been enough maybe to level it all the way. I, I don't now know. When, but anyway, you see the point behind the strategy. I mean, just throwing out a couple of buffs, four turns of buff, and, you know, letting Fina be your offensive spellcaster and using the little bits of fire here and there get some good results. And that's everybody levels. Yay! So that's really, and, and a lot of people say that's an asinine strategy. Yeah, it's a very anal thing to do in a battle to plan it out that much. But I hate to break it to you guys, it works very, very well. 
So let's go ahead and use our healing magic. Yay! Healing! Because Justin's going to be the one who heals after battle now, because Fina has a means of doing offensive damage. Be, uh for ice magic. Right now, Justin doesn't have ice magic, so he's not given that luxury yet. But his luxury is using the defense buffs, and very soon he'll be able to use a skill that requires fire and earth, which is called boom. We're eventually going to learn it at some point, but he's got to learn, he's got to level up that fire skill, the earth skill, so he can actually use it in battles with many enemies to level it up even faster than he's leveling it up now. And now we get another Liete scene here. Closer, Liete. Where's the lint? Get another one of these. There is no one in this world who would interfere with the blessings of the spirits. Or with our civilization, which began together with this spirit light. You don't say. Our civilization began to spread far and wide. Angelo became prosperous enough to cover even the farthest reaches of the land. This building that you are in now is also from that period. Go east, Justin. The place called Alent is a place far from here. You still have a very long way to travel. Jane! East? From here? Pretty soon we'll reach the end of the world, Liete. Tell me, please. Just where is this Alent? There is no such thing as the end of the world, Justin. Owned. You don't say. With my own eyes, I can find out there is no end of the world, huh? Kind of makes me feel bad that I really actually had to listen to these women. <laughs> we still haven't made it to a land, right? So there is no end of the world! Yeah, I saw how tall it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna eat something right now, but yeah, for the most part, Justin's all riled up. There's no end to the world, and we can prove it. We can prove it. Heavenly Cheetos. Okay, so, now that that's all said and done, we gotta now leave this place. Obviously, it's not as bad as we think. Guess we should know shortcuts to get out of here. That's definitely not one of them. So what we'll do... Oh shoot, I forget which way it is. I'm getting myself turned around now. I was think I, I think I was going the right way, uh, or whatever. Yeah, that's the way we want to go. So in other words, in other anyway, not in other words or anything like that. But anyway, we're gonna use all of the little shortcuts that we know of to get out of this dump, and we know of two, so let's use them. And we killed most almost all the enemies, so it's not like we're gonna get hit by any. So if you forgot to use the uh, safe point earlier to heal yourself, don't worry about it. You're most likely not going to run into anything that's a threat. As, well, our next step here is to get to the safe point in the old part of the ruin here. And by doing that, we can take this north passage here, which might have a monster in it because we didn't clear it. Okay, it doesn't. And this will take us to the front of the ruin. So we gotta climb up here. And 
this will will take us out of here if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, we gotta go down the uh, elevator first. My bad. It's a creepy looking elevator with eyes that pierce at you. Um, I actually don't think this is the right way. It actually looks like it. I could be wrong. Yeah, this isn't the right way. We needed to go the other way. Okay, so anyway, once we get out of here, our adventure will continue. Maybe it is, it is this way. Okay. Well, wait a minute, this is taking me to the cliff. You can get lost so easily. Okay, no, I was right. It was just I went the wrong way in the elevator. This is not the way. I'll... Well, no, this looks closer to correct. There's that pit of failure. Oh, no, this can't be right. I'm I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? Leads to a door. Uh, where's this lead? I know I've gone this way already. I'm pretty sure, damn sure about it. Yeah, that's where I found the holy maze. So I'm actually going the wrong way. Pretty sure about it too. So let's go back. You can kind of tell when you're heading the wrong way. Like, oh, I've seen that before. <laughs> oh, man, come on. I'm getting stuck in this place. That's why I hate leaving dungeons. That's why the one thing I hate about these games is when they want you to backtrack through a dungeon. They should just automatically let you out. But no. Well, then again, this dungeon's so big, if you were ditching monster fights and stuff, then you should have to walk all the way back through it. You really should. gotta be this way. No, wait a minute, this is the cliff that has nothing on it. Well, anyway. If you were watching this Let's Play earlier, you know how to get out of here. I hope you do. I apparent appears that I sure as hell don't. So on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia, to get out of this dun- well, I'll be out of this dungeon, and we'll continue the freaking story. See you then.